Veterans Aid really doesn't care how long you served or where you served or who you served with. Uh, all we want to see is people getting back on their feet and leading healthy, happy and productive lives again. I uh, joined the Army for six years. Um, joined as Royal Engineers, so I ended up going to Kent uh, with bomb disposal at Lodge Hill Camp. And it was a um, great life. My brother's in and out of prison from the age of 16. I thought to myself, join up, get out of this lifestyle. But uh, when I got out, wish I hadn't. The guys I see joined the armed forces for various reasons, often to get away from home. Um, had an absolutely fantastic time. Walked out the gates for whatever reason. Left that part of their life behind them and went on with their lives. And for whatever reason, it didn't work out for them. I, I drank most of the time on my own, not, not with company in particular, because with company you have to share it, unfortunately, don't you? And as an alcoholic, you, you, are, you are very, very selfish. I'm working class, I was from a housing estate in London, and you know, my ex-mates, my peers, they, you know, they were doing it. Uh, I decided I didn't want to choose that lifestyle, and so I went into the armed forces for the better. I can sit with somebody and just talk to them straight off about um, their history of drinking, for example. Yeah, good mate. Once that mental health team, yeah, they've given me the uh, paperwork. Okay. I've seen people quite comfortably walk in with eight cans of Skull Super in their system, um, using you know, four rocks of crack, eight bags of heroin a day. Um, you know, people come to us having can, you know, can comfortably put away four liters of vodka. After you picked up dog ends from the bus stops, and uh, when it's pouring down with rain, you go to the bus stops because they're dry. Um, you, you 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 reach rock bottom. When I got out, wish I hadn't. Back in the building trade, back in to drinking and the drugs. If it wasn't for Veterans Aid, I'd be dead. And that's not being blasey about it. I'm being genuine. Because I was in a bad way. Because, to be honest, in between leaving the army to get into Veteran Aid, I've always had that lonely not being want, didn't think I was wanted sort of thing. No, I always say that addiction has done the diversity course. Um, the kind of guys I've seen have been um, failed recruits who, who've served for just a few weeks. Uh, and I've worked with um, you know, retired officers with MBEs and mentions and dispatches. And really, it, it, yeah, addiction takes anyone. Any, you know, it doesn't really respect gender or race or uh, class. Uh, it'll take anyone. Well, VA never gives up on anyone. It doesn't matter if you served a couple of years, a couple of months even, or 20 odd years, they, they never let you go. In the army, when you hear man down, you know that you're gonna get help straight away. Somebody's gonna to come to your aid. With Veterans Aid, it's very, very, it works in a very similar way. These are veterans helping veterans. A massive part of the success that Veterans Aid has had in terms of getting people into treatment, the reason we've got so many people in, is New Belvedere House. MBH is not a hostel, you know, it's, it's, it's people's home. It was brilliant and I'm, I moved in with 60 other soldiers from all different regiments and all different, um, from the Air Force, from the Navy and everybody got on and it was like being back in the army. For 99% of the guys I see, they loved their time in the military, absolutely loved it. So when they walk into somewhere like New Belvedere House and they see the, the different regimental badges on the wall, it 
it has a, a profoundly positive effect, I think, on, uh, for them. There's a sense of comfort and there's a sense of belonging there straight away. VA uh, has given me the opportunity, you know, to progress in life. To see a guy walk in who's, who's homeless and with absolutely nothing, to now studying an English degree at Plymouth and, you know, looking at going on to become a teacher, or seeing somebody walk in completely alone who's been completely ostracised by his family, to returning to the family home, sober, being a father again. Yeah, that's really beautiful, that's lovely. I smile and laugh. Never used to, 18 years I never smiled and laughed and had a joke. One of the great things that people get from rehab is a phone book full of clean and sober friends. Some truly dependable, um, healthy, honest and open people you know, that they can call up if they're having a great day or they can call up if they're having not such a great day. Veterans Aid is the one-stop shop, it's the, the A&E. The fact that they will be told, you know, that there's massive concern for their safety and their well-being and, and everyone's on the same page and I think that's of massive value. Uh, you, you can't beat watching people get well.